It was to be another massive undertaking for Ozenko. To construct the Sepon Gold Project and expansion for Oxiana Resources. Deep in the jungles of Laos. At the end of the Ho Chi Minh Trail, where rainfall averages five meters in three months and where a huge number of unexploded ordnance lay buried. This was the first foreign mining project in Laos, and thus, Ozenko has set the standard for further mining developments. The project value was US 45 million for a 1.25 million ton per annum gold processing facility to produce 153,000 ounces per annum. A total of 1.3 million man hours were required to engineer and construct the project in 56 weeks. Osenko is proud to have achieved zero lost time injuries during the 56 weeks of execution. This was a greenfield site with no infrastructure. Thus, the project scope included the construction of all processing facilities, infrastructure buildings, a 1,000-person accommodation centre, a diesel-fired power station, river pumping system, the installation of a satellite and wireless communication system, and a major upgrade of 42 kilometres of access road. Ozenko did it all, below budget and ahead of time, thanks to planning and cooperation from our workforce and our trained local employees. 90% of workers employed during the construction period were local and Asian workers. Consideration of cultural customs and religions was very important in creating harmony within the teams. Access was extremely difficult. The terrain and rain proved problematical for not only earthworks, but also logistics. Crossing the mighty Mekong River and utilizing the local Namcock River were just some of the challenges facing the construction crews. Other challenges included engineering of the site layout to best utilize the terrain for the elements such as design of the catchment dams to manage the high rainfall and keep land clearing and environmental impact to a minimum. Most fabrication was sourced locally from Thailand, Vietnam, Laos and throughout Asia with global supply for major equipment such as the ball mill. The new ball mill was manufactured, delivered and installed in 36 weeks. Osenko worked closely in the training of various teams. For example, Chinese were hired for bridge construction, while other teams from Vietnam, Laos and Thailand also joined us. A large number went on to become full-time employees at the finished plant. Cleared timbers were used by the carpenters to construct buildings and amenities. Their carpentry skills were excellent. As the wet season started and unexploded ordnance clearance slowing down construction, Ozenko stepped in to manage the earthworks and get the job finished before the torrential rain set in. The road construction is a triumph in itself, a journey that initially took six hours. Travelling the 42 kilometres up the Ho Chi Minh Trail now takes just 90 minutes. The upgrade included the installation of 110 culverts, causeways and bridge crossings using over 5,000 cubic metres of concrete. In keeping with best practice procedures, the footprint for the project was kept to a minimum to reduce environmental impact. Runoff, erosion and pollution all well contained and with restoration and revegetation there is very little impact to the surrounding area. The community benefits have been enormous, such as power upgrades to the local area, construction of the road allowing access for local villages to markets and other community initiatives. Not long after the initial Sepon Gold 1.25 million tonne per annum plant was commissioned in 2003, Ozenko started an engineering cost estimate to expand the plant to 2.5 million tonne per annum. The plant now produces some 320,000 ounces per annum. At the start of 2004, Ozenko began the engineering and completed the US $31 million Sepon Gold expansion project in just over 12 months. The project was fast-tracked and based on a pre-feasibility estimate by Ozenko. 
the project involved installing a range of additional plant and equipment, such as a new sag and ball mill, CIL tanks, and an extension of gold room. This was undertaken in a brownfield environment where the existing plant maintained production throughout the construction phase. This project took a total of 700,000 man hours and there were no lost time injuries. A testament to Ozenko's commitment to safety. Over four years, Ozenko has been at Sepon engineering and building the Sepon Gold project, Sepon Gold expansion and the Sepon Copper project a combined value of US $370 million. Osenko, the force behind great mining projects and proud to be a part of the Sepon achievement.